Hi guys, how are you? It's Nanda with Gardening and Karma. I'm getting ready to start my seeds, um, vegetables, and herbs, mostly herbs. And I just wanna take you through the process um, to let you see what exactly it is that I'm doing. Um, frankly, a lot of these seeds um, should have been started already, um, including the chives, the onions, um, some of the basils, but I just didn't get around to it. The peppers, especially the peppers. I don't even know what kind of success I'm going to have with the peppers this year, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. So I have the camera set up here. I've been fiddling around with it. I don't know how much you're going to see, but we're going to try our best to let you get as much of a overview as possible. So this is what I did already. I already um, had the trays set up with the soil in there. Basically what I did, um, I got a bag of organic seed, seed starting mix from Jiffy's. It should have all the necessary components that you need to start seeds. Um, as far as um, germination is concerned and nutrition. Um, it's just, I paid about six, seven dollars in I think Lowe's. It's pretty easy. And when I bought these trays, um, one of it came with this plant vitamin for seeds. Super easy. It says all you have to do is mix this in a gallon of water. And that's what I did and then use it to moisten the, the soil and it, it, feeds, um, it feeds the soil for you. So I've never really seen something like that, so I'm curious to see how that works out. But yeah, so let's just get right into it. Um, first, I'm gonna do the chives. Um, this is a 90, 80 to 90 day germination. It says here, I'm sorry. 80 to 90 day maturity, 15, 10 to 15 days germination. Um, it is a perennial, I can't speak today. Perennial, it is a perennial, so it comes back every year. Um, I have some of these already in my um, landscape, so that's, as they say, it's, it does come back every year. Now, I've never really seen this um company before it's called garden line i bought this seeds in aldi's i think i paid like 59 cents each i bought this one and um i bought the lemon balm this is also perennial and i bought some carrots so these i'm gonna sow outside uh Today would have been a perfect day, but I have so much to do, so I'm gonna pass on that. Um, so here, let's go, let's just get into it, guys. Um, I'm not using cells, because I don't have enough. So what I did was I had trays only. So I just kind of layered it with the soil, and um, seeing as these seeds are so tiny already, and they don't need a lot of soil coverage on them, um, I'm just gonna lay them out in here. So planting depth is about a quarter inch, spacing is about one inch. I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle them. I'm not gonna really follow that um, guideline there. Now this onion is called a walla, let me turn it so like walla walla onions, and they're supposed to be really good. So, and they're big. So you can start these inside, you can start them outside. So I'm gonna do half and half. I'm gonna do some in here and I'm gonna do some outside. These is a, to germinate, let's see, it says 10 to 12 days, but to harvest it's 115 days. So both these, these two here, um, between three to four months before I can harvest anything. So let's just get going. So these are the seeds, they're really, they're not super tiny, but they're tiny enough and, um, they're black don't know why um the seeds are like this but it's, there we 
go. So all I'm gonna do is sprinkle. And when these come up, I guess what I'm going to do is um, do my best to separate them and then either pot them up into bigger pots or directly plant them on the outside with my other seed, with my other onions that I'm gonna be starting. So I bought the sets, right? I bought the onion sets. Um, this is a hundred. These are the red banan, red baron. Never grew onions before, so I'm hoping to do well with them. Um, so these I'm definitely gonna plant outside in the in the raised bed. I'm gonna plant these and see how they turn out. They are very heavy, heavy feeders. The onions, anything from the onion family. So um, they require a lot of um, fertilizers and stuff like that. So I will be keeping up on that. So yeah, so that's all the onion seeds. That was a lot. I don't even know how much, but it was a lot. I'm gonna save the rest for outside. So I have my little bag here. So I'm just gonna put it back where I know it's supposed to be. And then let's start the chives. I'm gonna try to get through this as quickly as I can because I do have a lot of seeds and it's very time consuming. Now these are not terrible. They're kind of like the same color, a little bit smaller, but not terribly smaller. So I'm just gonna sprinkle all of them in here. I'm not gonna bother. Start these outside. So, oh, I gotta remember what I'm doing. So I'm gonna place my label to remember that is Walla Walla onions. And this is chives. So the soil in here is about an inch deep, which should be fine. All right, so here we go. Just gonna sprinkle all over. Sprinkle, sprinkle, no big deal. Yep, that, that is done. There's one in here that's stuck. Okay, so that's done. So I'm gonna put that there so I can remember what I planted here. And I will cover it with just a little bit of soil on top. I'm sorry, you probably just didn't see any of that, did you? Oh, well, that's a disaster. Okay, I promise to do better in the next one. All right, so I will just go over with a small layer of um, soil on top of all of these seeds, just a small layer because they're so small, they don't need to be covered too much. So let me put this aside. And let's start with, um, let's do the peas. This is gonna be quick and easy. So I have two varieties of peas and I'm going to plant, I think about three pods each in these small containers. I run out of containers, so I'm kind of improvising here. These I got in the Dollar Tree, four for a dollar. Uh, they only had one, so I picked it up. Um, this is a pea, Alaska pea. And back here, it's about two months to harvest and 12 days to germinate. So peas are really usually quick. Um, spacing on the back here, it says um, depth to sow one to two inch. So this these pots are perfect for that. And then these I planted last year, but I don't know what happened. But anyways, these are sugar pea pods, um, heirlooms, organic. So pretty much, I believe it's the same. Yeah, 55 days to harvest. So let's just get into that. I'm gonna try not to mix that up. So I'm just gonna put a bunch in case some germinate and some don't. Um, because, and then I'll thin them out if I need to. And then I just shove it down. And I will cover this with some more soil on top. But yeah, I just kind of did that. 
So, that's that. And now for these, um, I could just put these on the outside and the ground and let them trail on my fence. And I probably will do that with some of them because I surely have enough. But um, for now, I'm just gonna put a few here in this pot. I know I had said three, but I think I'm gonna do more than that. Yeah. So that's that. Push them down. And then it will come back. And put them. So again, peas is so easy. That was like, what, at least 30 seconds maybe. So this is the big tray. I'm gonna save that for last. So here, okay. Here I have cilantro from Burbies, um, organic. I think that was just accidental. I don't really pay attention. Maybe I should. But anyways, this one is a 60 to 90 day harvest to harvest. And I would imagine about two weeks to germinate as well. Um, direct, I can direct sow, which I probably should, but I'm going to put some here. I'm gonna start some inside. The cilantro is a wonderful herb. I really love the smell and the taste of it. Um, so I grew some last year and it did well for a little bit and then it bolted when it got too hot because I did not keep up with the watering so that was not the plant's fault just my fault these seeds are a little bigger and I think they have like a shell on the outside and I think if I wanted I could soak these right I could soak these and let them soften up a little so the germination is faster but I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna plant them because I don't have um, pots. So I just have these trays. So I'm just gonna kind of lay them out and then separate them as they, they come up. And I'm gonna plant some on the outside as well. Once the weather gets um, to be a little bit more decent and um, I can go out there. Today is a beautiful day, like I said, however, I have just too much going on on the inside and so forth. I, I need to be focusing on this today because um, I'm falling behind. Falling behind on all my seed startings and everything else. So that's that. I am gonna cover these with some more soil. I'm gonna cover all of these. These a little deeper I'm gonna cover because they are big. All right, so I'm gonna put that back there so I don't forget. And I'm going to, as a matter of fact, let me write out my label, C-I. And today is 3.31. Okay, put it right here. There you go. Okay, I can move this now then. And let me just put this over here to put it away. And this is peppermint. I don't know if I really have any seeds in here, but I love mint on a whole. 90 days to harvest. Um, it likes moderate water, full sun, all those good things. Uh, let me see if I even have any. I think these are super, super tiny. You know what? I don't have any. Well, I think I do, but it would be, uh-uh, it wouldn't even be worth it to put these in there, to be honest, because they would just get lost in the soil. All right, so let's skip that. Let's hope the rosemary is better. So rosemary is another um, herb that is 
very good on seafood, fish, um, roast chicken, um, anything to the, to the sort. You can even grow these as ornamental plants. You could use them as edges. Um, I think rosemary though, it, it's a slow grower. Holy mackerel. 90 to 400 days to harvest. Never gonna get to harvest this. But you know what? I guess it's gonna be a fun experiment, right? It will grow 24 to 36 inch high. <gasps> it's a perennial. Um, it's good in zones eight to 10. So it says start indoors about 10 weeks before last anticipated frost, which uh, I'm way late, as I said. So let me see how much I have, if it's worth it. Uh, so these seeds are also very, very small, but not as small as the peppermint. So I don't know if you could see that. So I'm gonna do, a batch of these right here and I'm gonna hope for the best this is funny this is like what are you doing like hopeless nope there's a will there's a way let's see all right let's leave that there um, Okay, let's cross out Brussels sprout and I'm not doing that right now. And this was rosemary. Again, uh, we shall see. Okay, so that's that right here. And then let's just do the rest, fill it up with uh, the lemon balm. This is a herb, a perennial herb, 65 to 75 day maturity, 15 to 20 day germination. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Here we go. What else can I put in here? Mm, nothing. I think that should be it. Yeah, let's, oh, these are, oh, very tiny seeds. Very, very tiny. Oh, see that? Very small. So, there we go. Wow, so I'm not gonna even cover this part of the soil because These I'm going to save to put in a container in case I mess up here because I have a habit. Okay, put that away. Um, did I finish all the rosemary? Yeah, I did. Okay, so that will... I'm going to save this to remind myself of the, the germination date, stuff like that. This doesn't have any, so that's useless. Okay, what did I do? What did I just do there? Oh my God. Did I just say that? Lemon balm, okay. Yeah. Lemon balm. Lemon balm. Okay. Lemon. Terrible handwriting, but hopefully I'll understand it later. Okay, so that's that. Okay, let me put this one away as well. And so we can start on the others. I think I'm gonna do the peppers next. Okay, let me, I'm sorry. This way. Okay, I'm back. All right, so let's start on the peppers. I have these individual pots that I bought from the dollar store. It says 12, 12, 
12 for a dollar 25 right can you count to see how many is there 11 but i guess right whatever okay so these are proven winners um spicy peppers i tried growing these last year it's the hot and heavy fire away and yeah i didn't have any luck to be honest and i think it's all of these uh, mishaps that i'm having it's all my fault because i never ever start them on time so i just plant them and pray that's what i do hope for the best so whatever is left here i'm going to use it all because I had it since last year. So um, I have enough here to put two each in a pot. As a matter of fact, uh, I have one, two, three more. Okay, I could use three pots. One, two. Um, I'm gonna have an extra, so I'm gonna put three in one. Okay. And I'm just going to sink them in and then I'm going to come back and cover them with the soil um, in a few. So let me put these away. So three down. Uh, pepper. Here we go. Let me write this. Put this label. What I should have done was prepared all the labels so I don't bore you this way. Proven winners. Fire away. Ever. March 31st. Okay. Now we'll be sure to keep those together like that. All right. So here's my favorite pepper, jalapeno. I got this as well at Aldi's and it was only 59 cents. So of course I had to pick one up. This is a 75 day maturity, 14 to 21 day germination. Pretty much they're all the same as far as planting depth and so on is concerned. I'm hoping to do good with this pepper because I really, really like this pepper. I eat it just like that. I love it on pizza. I mean, it's just fantastic. So, I'm going to use, oh, I have three, one, two, three. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need to get more pots and plant more of these, plant more of these seeds. Okay, so I'm gonna put three seeds in each, each pot. One, two, that was more than two, more than three. Yeah, so I'm just gonna see. Cause I should have already started these peppers to be honest. And um, they, they're the worst, they take forever. So I'm gonna put these away because I'm gonna need to plant more. So I'll bury them a little bit and I'm gonna come back with the soil. more soil okay so let's put these over here we're getting there we're getting there guys okay now we have bell peppers i tried these last year I tried all of these last year this is 70 days to germinate 10 i'm sorry 70 days to maturity 10 days to germinate so let's see it's early call wonder so it, for, it says here, this variety produces large, blockly well, sorry, bell peppers that can be harvested when green or later as they mature to red. Oh, so they're going to turn red when they're more mature. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, let's start. One, two, let's do two of these. And all the pepper seeds pretty much look the same. Sorry, I didn't show you the jalapenos, but they're all the same. 
So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, four and five. Alright. Let's put this away. I need more soil. Definitely, I ran out of soil. And now last of the peppers for now. This is a mix, Grand Bell mixed color. So I'm gonna have yellow, red, and green, fairy moss. I got this from, I think Lowe's. So this one is 65 to 85 days germination uh, harvest and 10 to 20 days germination. So they're all around the same. Oh, did I use this already? Oh my God, there is nothing in here. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm gonna have to buy another one. Okay, that just means I gotta have more space to put more peppers. Okay, so I'm putting more of the early one, the early, early call wonder. And then I'm gonna put some more of the jalapenos as well. Oh, that's too much of one pile of bother me. All right, let's put that there. I'm gonna do more of the jalapeno because I, I prefer those. Uh, yeah, so these are the jalapeno seeds, same thing. Okay. do for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. One, two, so I got five of those. All right, this is garbage. Last but not least. All right, so I'm excited about all of these especially all the basil. These two are from last year, the same variety as this. And this. Fairy moss. I have these tomatoes. I have baby, the small one, the medium one, and the larger one. So those I'm gonna be planting up. I have oregano and thyme. This I got from the dollar store. So I'm going to be using these two here, one here and one here. Okay. So I have them kind of set out as far as where I'm going to be planting them. And I'm putting more tomatoes because I want more tomatoes. So let's see. Let's start on this side. So this one is a cinnamon basil. This basil is beautiful. It looks exactly like it is on the photo here. I use these in cut flower bouquets and oh my God, not only did they last long, if you leave them in water long enough, they'll root. You can get many, many stems from that. Um, but the smell in the bouquet, it outlasts everything else in there. 80 days to harvest. Um, five to 10 days to germinate, so really quickly, fairly quickly, and all of these are in the same harvest and germination um, bracket. So let's just get these planted, and then we'll move over and talk about the thyme and the oregano. Okay, here we go, oops. Right, I really, really like this one. The seeds are very tiny. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of seeds in each cells here. And just kind of separate them when they come up. Got 
too much of no. You gotta plant more seeds than you need sometimes because sometimes not everything germinates and um, this way you'll have options. Okay, let me put that back. All right. Now we're gonna start with the dark opal. So I have two packets, one from last year, one from this. I'm gonna use both. Oh, before I do that, uh, let's change this one. This is going to be for this side. And so I can remember what I just did. Cinnamon. Basil. Cinnamon. Okay, so there is no confusion. Alright, so that's that. Okay, so let me start with the open packet. Let's see how many I've got here. Oh, I have plenty. So this should be more than enough. stuck up in there. Mm -hmm. Till that is when I finish this packet. And then I'm going to sew the other packet, but another day. cross anything. Alright, so that's that. I'm just gonna pat these down and very, very lightly I will cover them. Again, when the seeds are so small, less coverage is better because then the light gets on them and they germinate. Okay. Make sure nothing came up on my finger. excited about these. Oh, that needed a lot more soil. Okay, <clears throat> that's done. Oh, there was a couple left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Garbage, garbage, and save for later. So this is a sweet basil. I'm sure I have enough in here of this. And this was from last year. This one is pelleted and this one isn't. I can feel it. Um, the ones that are coated this way, it's just easier to handle them. There's nothing different with the actual um, herb. They will grow the same and taste the same. So let's start with this one. Let's finish this one up. And like I said, the um, the germination and the harvest state is pretty much the same on all of these basils. The seeds um, pretty much look the same. Yeah, see? All right, so I'm just going to fill in I might be overdoing it with these little little cells and not so many seeds. Yeah, I might have to put some of these back because then that's just crazy. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to get more containers. Um yeah, so let's save these. 
to save these and to make matters worse i only have one grow light no heat mat so there we go with another mess up again so let's just see let's just see okay so which one did i just do sweet sweet basil oh i have a tag already for a room smoothie oh well okay sweet basil 331 okay so here we go we're getting there two more to go all right so oregano love this thing love it dried love the smell of it love the look of it this one oh my god do you see the harvest date on here i don't know 90 to 200 days are you kidding me that's like the rosemary 400 days then 12 inches barely cover okay well, the germination rate is 10 to 21 days. So let's see. That's a month. I'll just call it a month. Oh my God. This is not seeds. This is like dust. Can you see in there? It's dust. I'm scared. I'm so scared of this. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. It's like dust. Okay, let's see. Um, my goodness. Yeah, actually, now I do. I remember it being so very small. Because now that you think about it, I did use it last year. And you know what? It did grow, but I screwed up so bad. Anyways. Second time. Okay. Let me put a label on here. So I don't forget. Oh man, I even had the tag for the sugar pea. What did I do? Uh, oh, let's put it there. Let's change the date. Okay, that's done. I just did oregano. Okay, so put it in the middle so I know this is one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, time for the time. Alrighty. So this has a container variety, right? However, it's a pre-annual, so it does come back. Um eight to 20 days to germinate. Plant in depth a quarter of an inch as usual. Um, I guess you can harvest it. Harvest small cuttings continuously through the growing season. So as you need it. Okay, let's get this going. I'm gonna put some of these in pots outside as well. I think I'm gonna use a whole bunch of these things in my what you call it? My window baskets. Oh, these are just as small as the oregano's. Look. Super. Well, not as small, but pretty close. Okay. 
is almost very painful. Think about a seed. I'm sure I splattered some somewhere where it shouldn't be. Okay, so I'm going to put this away. And I'm going to use some of this in my window basket as well as the others. Okay, let's get a label. Okay, and the same thing for that. I'm not going to cover these. Mm, I'm afraid to touch them because if they come, if they get stick on, stuck on my finger, I'm not going to be able to tell. Alright, let's just start with the tomatoes. So, I'm going to do eight, eight, eight. Eight of each, providing I have eight seeds. Let's see, I don't think I do. These are from last year's too, so I don't know if they will or will not germinate. Yep. They only come 15 in a pack. So here we go. Oh, one, two, three. I'm just putting one each, and if I have extras, I'll put it. Five, six. Oh no! No, no, no. Oh my god. Did you see what I just did? Because this, okay, I really should put this here and here. <sighs> so this goes this way, this way, and this way. Oh my god. So six, six, six. Okay, so I have extras. Which one did I just do? Uh, cocktail, cocktail tomato. C O C P T A I L tomato. Last year I mixed these up so bad that I couldn't tell what was what. Okay, that goes there. Well, this is done, so scratching that so now I'm going to do okay let's do them this way now this is going to be the snack size which is a medium variety let's see if I have any left and how many okay looks like I have a few There's two in that one, and now two in that one. Uh, one, 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 one more, one, two. So one cell is gonna be one short, which is fine. So this one is done, that one is done, and that one is called snack size. Okay. 
because I will forget what it is to put tomatoes. Okay, so snack size. Okay, last but not least, these are the great slicing tomatoes. I did not have any of these last year, though I planted them. I know I definitely screwed up somewhere. Okay, looks like I have a lot more than six. So let's see. And tomatoes don't really like their, I think they don't like their roots to be disturbed, but they are fairly easy to transplant because you can, even if they get leggy, you can transplant them down to, you know, close to the neck and it'll send off shoots or um, roots in the ground. So tomatoes are one of uh, a very easy crop to, to, to grow. So two in there. in there, two in there, two, two, and for this one I have one extra so I'm just gonna randomly, let's put it there, okay. So that's it guys, <clears throat> seed starting for all the herbs we just spoke about is complete i'm going to be lightly covering these with soil some of them not all of them like i think i wasn't going to cover the chives the oreganos and the very small small seeds but that's it for now everything is done peppers here, the jalapenos, over there, the two different kinds of peas, and this is another, this is a hot pepper, um, yeah, and all of those things. So as you can see my seed bag, I got all those things to start. I have not done anything yet. But I want to thank you for hanging out with me today, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye.